Oh, poor thing's triggered. Poor baby. Well, this person who I first got on his radar when a healthcare worker criminally harassed and threatened me and my family and I went public on YouTube. So that's where their connection comes in. They're one of, they, they support the abuser. They support the person who threatens patients' lives. Anyways, that's who this person is. But it's funny that if you see, like, he obviously said something about Josh or react about Josh. But most of these are about Jonathan Young. There he is. And the interesting update, I didn't, I was going to wait for it to be served and us to go to court before posting. But I just feel inspired. So, the update to this is that, so, let me just go through the whole thing. He came to my house. I don't know who this person is. Don't know who this person is. He found me offline. He found my house based off of a, of a YouTube video that is no longer public. And he located my house. He destroyed property. Uh, I made YouTube videos about it. I thought we worked it out. That's what I thought happened. But the very next day, I saw that he came back with the property he stole. And it was now defaced with satanic writing. And at that point, I was like, you know what? F what we talked about last night where he was lying the whole time pretending to make things right but only to do that the next day. So I I basically called the cops again and it took maybe three weeks because as they said they dropped the ball and it took three weeks to get a detective on there and the first time I talked to the detective she suggested I go down to the Hall of Justice and swear out a warrant. So I did that. And they called me back within a week and said, I'm sorry, there's no, we can't see any evidence, there's nothing in your file. Basically, apparently, no one put the videos I sent them in the file or any of the pictures or anything like that. So I said, whoa, 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 whoa. How about this? How about I make a YouTube video just for you all and going through the whole story with all the screenshots, all the videos, all that? And they said, sure. So I uploaded a video and I put it on private. They were the only ones with the uh, link. And it took about six days for them to watch it. They watched it. I got an email saying they got the e they got the content, and then I just left it alone. And about six days later, well, let me stop. About five days later, the detective calls me and says I he haven't heard anything about a warrant. Uh, and I was like, you know what? I honestly don't think they're gonna do anything. Like I gave them everything I have, and it's been taking forever. I just don't have any hope. So if they do, if they don't do anything, I would be fine if you just give him a call and kind of talk some sense into him. And apparently she did that. But to my grace and benefit, the very next day, the Hall of Justice calls me and says, you can come down any time to sign this warrant. The warrant is ready to sign. So I was dropping off Advent. This was probably the beginning of the December. So I was dropping off uh, Advent calendars to my nieces and nephew. So I couldn't do it that day. So I came the following Monday and I went there and I signed the arrest warrant. And ever since around the beginning of December, 
this person has had a warrant out for their arrest. So, basically, the whole moral of the story is, I did nothing criminally wrong. I did not harass anyone. I did not stalk anyone. I did not threaten anyone. And this person gets offended and comes to my property to intimidate. They even said they did that to shut me up. And obviously it is the exact opposite. And that's why they're not going to be arrested. Uh, and so I'm just really blessed and grateful that everything worked out the way it was supposed to. Uh, I am just very thankful and I hope now because he did he committed a criminal act to send a message and it didn't hit because it's not going to shut me up it's just it obviously just made me talk more and do more get more involved that's what the that's what the detective said is congratulations you did a whole lot more than I could have to persuade them to do an arrest warrant and I was able to Convince them based on all the visual and the, all the videos and all the texts and all that stuff. So, going back, it's funny because this person found me when someone else was trying to do legal stuff with me. And every single time, it either... They were upset with me because I was making video. We, we talked about this. We already talked about how I was a healthcare worker working at U of L Hospital that threatened and harassed my family and me, uh, telling me to do things that I, I can't talk about on YouTube. So basically, this person is supporting a loser because that person lost. He's a loser. He's he's taken me to court twice now for being public about his abuse. And uh, he's lost both times. He made himself lose both times. And I have so much more information, like personal information about him, that if he tries anything again... I'm going to go public because there's nothing, there's nothing illegal about talking about text messages that you get off of a public, off of Grinder. basically. Anyone can download a Grinder. He sent the messages with his face showing. I screenshotted them. Tough luck, dude. Anyways, I'm sitting on that until the time is necessary and then I will... I actually already have a script already written uh, just in case I need to make a video. But for this battle, I have won. This guy wanted to start drama. You can look back on the previous videos about why he was triggered. But he got triggered off of something that happened online and invaded my property. And even though he didn't have his face showing, for some reason he was willing to admit that it was him on the video. Well, I know why he admitted it. It's because it was a demand of mine to, for me to shut up. Was, I basically told him if you want me to shut up, you can uh, find a way to message me and admit that you were the one on the video. And he took the bait. And because of that, because he admitted that he was the one in the video and then came back with it twice and, it, and it's all degraded and all that stuff, that's the criminality. That's why he's getting arrested. It's a misdemeanor. It will go away, whatever, whatever. But he wanted to send me a message he missed. Hopefully this message is a message to him to leave it alone. I want nothing to do with you. I never wanted anything to do with that. I gave you a chance. I, I took a shot and gave you a chance thinking that you could behave and you couldn't. So I want nothing to do with you. And again, I won. You're getting arrested. There's a warrant out for your arrest that I signed. You're welcome. And again, 
I look forward, now that I'm learning about legalities and what I can and can't do, I look forward to being able to make more content about those who persecute me, like the healthcare worker who I so badly want to name. And I will if he tries anything. And because I have, I have new, like there's, there's new information since then. Like, it's not like I just stopped looking. He made a very violent uh, tag name on Grindr, which is very disturbing given the fact with Colorado Springs and all that, with what he called himself. Very disturbing. Anyways, I think that's enough information for you haters. God bless and Merry Christmas. <laughs>